Thank you, Chairperson, Deputy President. The ACDP welcomes this debate. There can be no doubt that stimulating economic growth is crucial to address unemployment, poverty, and inequality, given that the country is in a technical recession. We are on record for supporting the National Development Plan. It was accepted by most of us in this house and the broader South African society. And of course, we now see the 14-point plan and other, other, and other plans. Surely we should focus on that plan, the main focus of which was to stimulate economic growth and to create jobs. The question arises then, how have we struggled, why have we struggled with economic growth? There are a number of reasons for this what, as to why we are in a technical recession. One can blame weak domestic consumer demand, declining resource prices internationally, and even the recent drought that has affected food prices. However, in our view, the most telling reason for our poor economic performance is undoubtedly reckless decision-making by President Zuma and certain members of his cabinet, which have resulted in policy and regulatory uncertainty. One need only consider the impact that the recent mining charter and the putative moratorium on the granting of prospecting and mining licenses had, has had on the mining industry. These steps resulted in an outcry from both the mining companies and labor movements alike, and are example, a clear example of where policy uncertainty in the mining industry has resulted in the loss of many jobs. It is also very clear that government decision makers seem to be more occupied with domestic party politics in the run-up to the majority party's December conference than with effective economic and policy management. Policy and political uncertainty would appear, regrettably, to be the new normal for the country, at least until the December conference. And if we look earlier this year, just when we saw promising green shoots of economic recovery and a strengthening currency and good cooperation between government, business and labor, we faced the infamous midnight cabinet reshuffle referred to by previous speakers, where good ministers, such as the Honorable Prime Minister Gordon, Derek Hanekom, were fired and, in our view, incompetent ministers were retained. This seemingly to pursue the whims of the Gupta family and their friends to brazenly pursue the goals of state capture. Now we also see, of course, the challenges that our SOEs are facing and of course the state capture relating to ESCOM in particular highlighted by the Public Protectors Report. What is encouraging is to see Parliament flexing its muscles as we did on the ad hoc committee with the SABC we believe that this can be taken forward. We believe that the Public Enterprises Committee's intended inquiry into ESCOM bodes well for good governance for our SOEs. So let us take heart Honourable as we member, exercise effective oversight. Thank you.